This is your boy Nose Gamer, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Path to Glory players, guys. Um, a lot of people have been hitting me up um, asking about when they should sell Path to Glory players, when, they should, when should they buy Path to Glory players. And we're going to kind of go over um, and talk about all the Path to Glory stuff and, and all of that in this video. So, if, guys, if you are new to the channel, you want to learn the best trading methods, if you want to learn how to trade and become a foot millionaire, or if you want help, uh, with your squad or if you need help with getting into foot champs or anything like that or doing better foot champs guys hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel guys also guys uh, check out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash snails gaming the link is in the description i stream a couple times a week uh, some days um but i usually start i usually stream i start around 6 30 p.m uk time 12 30 uh, p.m central time if you live in the u.s um, Twitch.tv says Nails Gaming. The link is in the description. Also, guys, check me out on Twitter at Nails Gaming. Um, my DMs are always open. I have a Twitter trading group chat if you want to be in it. All you got to do is DM me and say you want to be in the group chat. Be a subscriber on my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter, guys. And also, guys, can y'all please go check out my other channel, my vlog, prank, and um, entertainment channel, guys. Deontay Nails is the name of the channel. The link is in the top of the description, somewhere in the top. Um, Deontay Nails. It's a Fortnite video up right now, but uh, I'm going to be getting up some pranks, some vlogs, a whole bunch of entertaining videos for y'all. So make sure you go check out that channel. Hit that channel with a subscribe, please, guys. And um, let's get into the video for today, guys. Can we get 45 likes on this video? Um, but basically, guys, I'm going to explain to y'all what the Path of Glory is and, and how these cards work. They're basically like one to watches, guys. They, they, they increase in overall just like one to watch cards. Um, informs, hero cards, man, the matches. Um, I'm, I don't think they will increase with, they might increase with team of the season. I'm not sure. I don't think so, though. Uh, but basically, these cards are cards that, um, these players get cards uh, because they don't know if they're, like, going to be in the World Cup for sure or not, or if they're going to be starting in the World Cup because there's a player better than them in their position, or there's a player that they're competing with in their position. And so, for this reason, guys, they're basically just like one to watch us. Um, they fluctuate um, just like one to watches. If they have good games uh, in real life, they do fluctuate because if they get in form, they do go up in price and they do go up in overall. Um, so we're going to trade these just like uh, one to watches. Um, and I'm going to go through and talk about um, a couple of these. I'm going to talk about the new ones, the spring ones, because um, I know a lot of people are asking me about the spring one to watches and what we'll, are Path of Glory players. And we're going to also talk about some of the old ones. Um, and I'm going to give you all my best advice on when you should buy and sell. So first advice, guys, is if you if you do an SBC to get a, a Path of Glory player or you pack one in a pack right now, guys, I honestly would say it is worth holding on to because especially if you get one that's, that's 84 rated and higher, like Bernardo Silva and up from the Springs, I would say keep them. I mean, I would say hold on to them. You're going to, what you're going to see is you're going to see the Path of Glory players drop a tiny bit in price. Um, you're going to see them drop in price um, over the next few days. As, the longer that they're in packs, the, the more they'll start to dip in price. But if you hold on to them, they will rise. They're going to rise They're going to rise after they leave packs, and then they're going to rise um, and continue to rise as they p perform well and get um, upgraded cards and stuff. Um, especially, I would say, guys, my best advice would be to hold on to all Path to Glory players right now, guys. Like, I would hold on. To all the, especially the players that I'm talk, showing y'all in this video, um, I'm gonna be going through some of these, these players' prices. Um, but I would say hold on to all the cards. Um, if if now I will say this: if you don't feel like your player or the one to, or Path to Glory, sorry, Path to Glory card you have is not gonna get an inform or or it's not gonna perform well the rest of the season, then I'd say go ahead and sell it because um, if you if you hold on to it, the longer you hold on to it, if they don't perform and, and get goals and assists or get clean sheets or play well to get an inform, then they're, they're not gonna go up in price because they're not there's no hype around them. So um, players like Sterling, Sandro, Higuain, Thiago, Firmino, William, Sterling, Savic, Gundogan, Asensio, Sané, Greska, Varane, those cards, all those guys are capable of getting informed. So um, I mean, you can you can sell now, take your profit. And that's that's fine. That's that's great. Um, I mean, that that's what a lot of people will do. Or you can hold on to these cards for a few days or a few weeks and let them rise in price and and, and get a couple of informs or or a inform. And then you'll be set. Um, but I, I, once your once once your path to glory card gets an inform, sell it. Sell it immediately. As soon as that inform comes out, sell it, um, because that'll be when it's at the highest price at that moment. So you can sell it, and then uh, in a few days, buy it back when it's cheaper. Um, as the inform's price goes down, the path to glory card will go down as well. 
But um, we're going to look at a couple of these cards. I've already showed y'all a couple of the spring ones. Um, like Isco on PlayStation, he's going, or for, on Xbox, he's going for around 110,000 coins. At PlayStation, he's going for around 113. Uh, William, he's around 200,000 coins on Xbox, 210 on PlayStation. And guys, this is, the, if, you're, if you're looking to invest in Path to Glory cards, guys, I honestly would say, hold on. Don't invest this week. Um, the best time to buy Path to Glory cards are the same time as one to watches. Wednesday, Thursday, uh, because Wednesday, if the card doesn't get a, a Path to Glory, or if the card doesn't get an M form, then the Path to Glory won't be upgraded. And so people tend to sell these cards right after that. Because a lot of people, what they do is, and this is, you can do this. This is a smart way to, to go about things. They buy these Path to Glory and one to watch cards um, like Tuesday night or, or Wednesday morning. Um, because if they do get an inform, then a pro then they will make profit. So what they do is they buy it. They hope that they get an inform. They hope that the the path of glory or the one to watch goes up with the inform. And if that if they do get an inform, they make profit. If they don't, then they try to sell, and people start panic selling and trying to get out and and and, and take the the smallest loss they can, or get out and make a couple thousand coins profit, or get out before they lose coins. So th that that's the best time to buy Wednesday, Thursday after the t after the team of the week has been announced. Um, if you buy then, then you'll be good. You, you'll be buying them at the cheapest price. So, guys, my best advice is I would say wait. Don't buy any Path to Glory cards right now if you're going to buy some to invest in. So I'd say wait a couple days. I mean, Wednesday, Thursday, um, i say you could buy some. You could pick up some. Um, but I would say don't buy any for the next few days. Uh, but th these are basically the these are the spring the best spring one to watches or path to glories i don't know why i keep calling them one to watches these are the, are the best spring path to glories to invest in i mean gundigan um and i'll talk about the players that i missed while i was talking for Mino, he's going for 230k on play on xbox playstation he's going for 240k sterling's going for around 240 on xbox or 225 right now sorry on xbox 230 on playstation savic is going for 355 on xbox 390 on playstation uh, Gundigan is going for 75k on Xbox, seven seven or sorry, 77,000 on, on PlayStation. Asensio is going for 58,000 on Xbox and 60,000 on PlayStation. Gresk is going for around 195,000 on Xbox and 190 on PlayStation. And Varane is going for 70k on Xbox and around 65,000 on PlayStation. And so, guys, uh, with that. Um, Basically, what what you're gonna see from these these uh, prices on these cards is you're gonna see them drop. Now, Sterling, uh, I know Rashford and a couple other players, they're 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 poised to get, or they're they're in the talks of getting informs and getting a team of the week card this week. If you're, here's the thing, guys. If you think your player is gonna get a team of the week this week, a you can either sell in the hype, which is around Wednesday, right before the right right before the team of the week gets announced, or you can wait and sell these cards um if, if your player does get a team of the week like i said sell it um sell it wednesday immediately when when team of the, team of the week gets announced um go ahead and start selling the card because guys uh once team of the week comes out um the, the card will start to decrease in value so i would say within the first hour of the the, the new team of the week being out you should have your card sold um i would sell it for as much as possible um for example like alexandro he could go up to 350,000 coins for when he gets his new inform, uh, maybe even more. Um, but if you buy him at 290 and you can sell him for 350 after he gets a team of the week card, go ahead and take the 350. Don't don't be greedy, guys. Just try to take your profit as soon as possible. Get out. Um, and guys, like I said, if you do invest in, in Path of Glories and they don't get informs and you take a little bit of a loss, cut losses quickly. That's the number one rule. Cut losses quickly. Uh, don't get greedy. That is the number one rule about trading, um, whether you're trading on FIFA, Madden, 2K, whether you're trading stocks in real life, cut losses quickly and take profit. Um, take, take profit. Like, don't be greedy. Um, but my best advice, guys, is to invest in some of these high rated, um, high rated, uh, path of glory cards. Um, I would leave the low rated path of glory cards alone unless they're around discard price. Um, I wouldn't buy, like I said, I wouldn't buy any yet. Um, I definitely would sell if they get uh, team of the weeks this week. And, um, also guys look, if you have, if you have, um, if you have a couple extra 83s, 84s, M forms, or um, if you want to do some of these um, these Path to Glory SBCs, guys, I did them, and I got Sterling and, and Bernardo Silva. I mean, I spent maybe 130 k and, I mean, I got Sterling and Bernardo Silva, 
who are combined worth around th- close to 300,000 coins. So, I mean, I made profit, guys. And I think these SBCs, especially earlier in the week, they were um, you were able to profit a lot from them. And then EA is also doing daily SBCs. So make sure you check your daily SBCs. Um, there are good rewards for doing these SBCs. Like yesterday was a rare players pack. Today was a rare mixed players pack. And these SBCs are easy to do. And I provide solutions on my Twitter, at Nels Gaming. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel. Peace out.